Here in Southern California, a culinary battle is revving up. I'm Jesse Palmer, and this is Food Truck Face Off. Over the next hour, four teams will compete for the ultimate prize, their very own customized food truck for one full year. But before any of our teams can proceed, they'll have to impress an expert panel of judges that will select just two teams to fight it out here in Los Angeles. But get this, while each of our teams may have a talent for cooking, no one has ever set foot in a food truck before. All they have is this wild dream of owning one. We're gonna have a business that's successful. This is our dream. We're not gonna let them take it away from us. And that dream will become a reality for the team that earns the most money over two chaotic days of selling. Think it sounds easy? Well, think again. Which of our dreamers has what it takes? Well, get ready, because you're about to find out. This is Food Truck Face Off. Our four teams are about to pitch their food truck concepts and their food to our talented panel of judges. With a name like Steak, he's got to know food. Radio and TV personality, Steak Shapiro. She's the owner of one of Chicago's hottest restaurants, The Boarding House, and she's got a palate that's second to none, Alpina Singh. He began his career with three award-winning food trucks, and he's now launched the brand to his hit restaurant Slapfish internationally, Chef Andrew Gruel. Our judges will be looking for unique flavors, viable concepts, and solid presentations. So, let's meet our teams. Here's Scott and Stephanie. People have told us that this is the best thing they've ever put in their mouth. Winning this truck would change our lives. We want this very, very badly. I'm Stephanie. I'm Scott. And we, we are, are Nitropod. Nitropod. We use molecular gastronomy to flash freeze our all natural ingredients using liquid nitrogen. That creates the best tasting ice cream and sorbet in the world. So Stephanie's gonna bring you one of our signature flavors. It is our avocado lime sorbet paired with our deep chocolate espresso. And the liquid nitrogen creates a very smooth and creamy texture. You know what? It's got an amazing mouthfeel. It is high quality ice cream. Really? I just cannot get over the texture. <laughs> I'm kind of a meathead. That's why they call me steak. Tell me, how does nitrogen work as it relates to your, your concept? So I'm going to demonstrate with some fresh red velvet ice cream, organic, all made right before your eyes. Liquid nitrogen is 321 degrees below zero. It flash freezes the ingredients instantly, creating a smoother and creamier texture than traditional ice cream. Is nitrogen expensive? Depends. If you're not buying a lot of it, it can cost a lot of money, but when you buy it in bulk, it actually comes down quite a bit in cost. So are you making each order on the spot or are you doing it in mini batches on the truck? We prepare all our bases in advance so that when we're ready to serve, it takes only seconds to freeze. So how much would this cost? We sell it for $6. It's really cool to watch, but I worry about the margins here. You're competing with people who are serving the same size, but for roughly $2. Ice cream makes people happy, and seeing the ice cream made before your eyes for the first time ever is life-changing. I thought the pitch went great. Very good uh, response to the flavors. You want passion? You got it. Here's passion and Nikki. I feel nervous, excited. But we can do this. Hard work, perseverance. Loaded potatoes. Pow. Howdy, folks. Howdy, folks. I'm Nikki. And I'm Passion. And we're Loaded, Loaded Potato and Freaks. And today, we brought two of our signature items for you to try. Our grilled sirloin steak blue cheese crumble on frites, as well as our savory Alfredo shrimp parmesan potato. You may also create your own potato. The concept is simply build your own potato or build your own frites. I think your fries are good. You know, you can tell that they were twice fried. They're crispy, they're crunchy. You know, the steak is really nicely seasoned. I mean, you clearly know your way around a potato. Thank yeah. you so much. I have to say, the flavors here are great, and I applaud you for that. Thank you. But the potato is boring. Give me that one piece that makes me want to talk about the potato to my friends, to other foodies. 
Well, our potato, it's a little different because it's loaded. It's just not a basic baked potato or frite. You can customize it to your liking. How did all this come about? We're actually cousins. We come from a really big family. We had to feed a lot of people on a small amount of money. So it's always been a dream of ours to feed people and to offer things that we grew up with. We think that we pulled this off. We're gonna make it all the way through. Next up is Rebecca and Dawn. There is no food truck that is around that sells healthy food. This is gonna be a very different concept for them to accept. Our message is the right message. Eat right, feel right. Hi, I'm Dawn. And I'm Rebecca. And we are Green, Green Cuisine, Cuisine Kitchen. Kitchen. And we create healthy meals that taste great and are good for you. Our first dish that we're gonna serve you today is called Kelp Up With Me. It is kelp noodles with spinach, tomatoes. We've got a fake ricotta cheese that's made only with cashews. And then there's a hemp seed pesto. It is full of antioxidants. Our next dish is called Suddenly Jamming. It is PB&Js, but without all the sugar that's usually loaded in a traditional peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It actually uses sunflower seed butter. We also use a rice tortilla. So if anyone has a gluten issue, we've eliminated that. I'm very familiar with vegan vegetarian food. I mean, this is good, but it's not great. I mean, I'm very intrigued by the texture on these kelp noodles. They're you know, crunchy, but yeah, they're crunchy I actually love and you the might, Yeah, I mean. I, I like it. I like the texture, I like the flavors, the saltiness, the sweetness from the tomatoes. My problem is, is that it looks unappetizing. Steak, I'm just dying to know what you think about <laughs> your kelp noodles. God, Well, hey. listen, I think I'd rather go to the meatball truck right next to it. <laughs> At least you're honest, that's okay. Hey. Don't you think you're a little preachy? Sure, I, I, I don't mind being preachy. We're not saying to you that, oh my God, every day you have to eat like this, and if you don't eat like this, this is the wrong way. No, we're... it's an option, and here, let us show you how to do it. Right. You're in a niche market, and that's important because you're gonna stand shoulders apart from every other truck out there. We live in a city that is pretty very health conscious, conscious I people. feel. They understand what it's like. I think there may just be a lucky star for us. Next up, Jake and Dawn. We're here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to win. My son Jake here is an absolutely amazing chef. I taught him everything I know. Let's get this on. I'm Jake. My name is Don, and we're the Mess Hall Canteen. We're taking military food and turning it into gourmet food for the truck. The first dish we have for you today is SOS, Save Our Soul. What this is is some beef with fried potatoes and some Munster cheese on a grilled sandwich. This is our second portion. It's called the Sea Rations. It's blackened salmon with the olive tapenade, homemade pesto, feta cheese, and the grilled bread. I'm really digging the flavors here. I love the saltiness of the feta. I like the interplay and the Mediterraneanness that the tapenade brings in. My only complaint is I wish you'd done a filet of salmon rather yeah. than crumbles of salmon because it just kind of falls apart. OK. Are you both currently in the military? After school, I went into the military. And after serving my country, I came back home and I served my community for the last 25 years. I've always wanted to be a chef, and I was never able to do that. I took a culinary class and just fell in love with cooking, came home and told him I'm going to go go to school, yeah. get the culinary degree, start working in restaurants. It's our dream to have a family business, work as father and son. What kind of beef are you using here? That is a dried beef. Just like the military. Because it's incredibly salty. It, it is very salty, but uh, that's why uh, when we make the potatoes, we don't add any salt to it. You and the salt, darling. I listen, like salt. Just, listen. I'm watching out for your steak. That's too salty. <laughs> it works for me, I got to tell you. This is the kind of food truck experience I'm looking for. Thank you. Your product tastes great. What I wonder and worry about is the names of these dishes aren't that appetizing. You're basically taking the glory out of how good these taste. We're just going with a business plan that we felt, hey, this, this will probably be a good concept. We're going to let the food speak for itself and let it go from there. All right, judges, you now have to choose the two teams that will get to face off on the streets of sunny California. Let's start with Nitro Pod. What'd you guys think? Quite possibly the best ice cream I've ever had. But the price point, $6 for a serving of ice cream, is just way too high. I don't know how practical all of it is, but there's something about watching all that stuff happen that may be a plus. All right, loaded potato and frites. They're using fresh hand-cut potatoes. That's really a game changer. That twice-baked shrimp Alfredo, that's indulgent. 
She's got a swagger about her. Nikki is a winner. Next up, Green Cuisine Kitchen. I think Rebecca and Dawn have a good product. That's bikini food. That's LA food. The kelp up with the salad, it wasn't bad. It was intriguing. I don't want any part of that Make America Skinny stuff that they're serving off that truck. But, but steak, I mean, come on, you got to move on with the times. That's where it's all going. It's healthy, it's fresh. How about Don and Jake and Mess Hall Canteen? Look, the SOS grilled sandwich, that's what I'm talking about on a food truck. Jake is clearly a talented chef. I mean, the SOS sandwich had gouda on it, the potatoes had a nice softness. If he pulled back a little bit on the dried beef and added maybe another component in there, I mean, that's a delicious sandwich. I'd eat that every day of the week, but the names of their sandwiches, it's almost as if they're demarketing their own food. SOS, Sea right. ration. <laughs> All right, judges, I know it's not easy, but do you feel like you've made a decision? Let's do this. All right, teams, our judges have tasted your food and they've assessed your presentations, but only two of you can move on to compete for your own food truck. So judges, who's staying and playing? And who's going home? So judges, who's staying and playing, and who's going home? Our first team to advance blew us away and left us wanting more. Loaded potato and freeze. <laughs> This is a wonderful opportunity that I'm so happy to embark on. We won't let you guys down. <laughs> oh gosh, thank you guys so much. The next team to compete has a true knack for flavor and a great concept. Mess Hall Canteen. Holy <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Oh, this, wow. is, this is incredible. What a chance to, to live this dream with my son. I, we can't ask for anything more than that. Nitro Pod, Green Cuisine Kitchen, thank you guys so much for your pitches, but unfortunately, you won't be moving ahead. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks thank, so you. Much. thank you. Good luck, thank guys. You. Thank you. Congrats, guys. With our teams chosen, it's now time for them to face off on the streets of Los Angeles. Are you guys excited and ready yeah. to yeah. use your trucks? Yeah. yeah! Do it. Here they are. My heart is just like, oh my God, there it is. There's our dream coming around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. It was a big deal. It was, it was definitely it's a dream come true. Yeah. Go on, check them out. <laughs> <laughs> It's exactly what we wanted. Exactly. It couldn't be more perfect. Oh my gosh, it's way bigger than that. That's it has everything that we need. We're going to be on the road. Let's We're going to be serving some food, buddy. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it, do it. Let's do it. We grew up in the same household together, eating the same things. Our house was just a big house full of food and people and family and fun. Passion and I have always had a dream about some type of food business. And I've always wanted to know what it was like to be on a food truck. Right. Cooking. Basically, we're self-taught. We are. Foodies and chefs. <laughs> Winning a food truck is very, very important to me because I am a single mother of four. I really want to have this type of opportunity to show my kids that hard work really will pay off in the end and give them a great life so yeah, that better life. they can have a future business, too. I will get this truck for my four kids. This Dream come true. Do you believe we're actually in our truck, man? Step right up, folks. Best Hall Canteen's open for business. 
When I was 16 years old, I was a short order cook in a restaurant. I joined the military, and uh, after the military, I never got into cooking like I wanted to. When I went to college, I decided I wanted to live his dream and go to culinary school. And I just went, yes, you know, that, that is just awesome. The most important thing for us for winning this is just being able to start the family business and being able to work together. Having a father-son business, we'd be living the dream. My dad is one of my best friends. I really don't want to fail my dad, you know. I know he's put a lot in trust in me to go into business with him. The last thing I'd want to do is let him down. The Loaded Potato Team, they're trying to take our dream away. We're not going to let that happen. Yeah! <laughs> We're going to make a mess out of mess all. <laughs> all right, well, teams, you've got two crazy days of selling ahead. Now, the team that earns the most money over the next two days gets to keep their truck, but we're not going to reveal your earnings until both days are over. Today, we're taking a trip to the beach. Venice Beach, that is. That's where the two of you will be competing against each other, truck to truck. You've got only three hours now until your first lunch service starts. And you probably already noticed you're missing something. Yeah. All the food. Yeah. <laughs> the food, yeah, which right. of course you guys are going to have to prep before you're open for business. Now, ask any food truck owner, and they're going to tell you, in order to be successful, you've got to be quick and you've got to be efficient. So you've got only 30 minutes to shop and buy all of your ingredients from the commissary. Now, I know what you're thinking. 30 minutes, that's not a lot of time. Think carefully about what you need to buy. Today, we're shopping for the SOS Grilled Sandwich. That has salami, gravy, fried potatoes, and Munster cheese on Texas toast. And we're also shopping for our sea ration salmon sandwich. Sweet battered onion rings with red wine barbecue sauce and blackberry sweet tea. Today, we'll be serving our steak and blue cheese loaded potato or frites and also our creamy shrimp alfredo loaded potato. We'll be providing a side dish, Mediterranean frites, as well as our ice cold fresh lemonade. So are we ready? Yeah. Ready? Let's do it. Well, all right. Shopping starts <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 son, go. Nikki, get the flour, get the flour. OK. Got the bread, buddy. Got the bread. Here it comes. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> and it hit me and exploded like a bomb. See if there's another one over there. All right, look. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 Crazy, chaotic. Oh, Passion, where are That's you? That's mine, it's mine. Get out of here. Look out. Listen up, teams. Only two minutes left now. Where's the water? We need water. Water. Oh, my goodness. There has to be some water in here. If they would have looked, they would have seen a whole back warehouse full of different beverages. What back room? There was water in, in the, the back, back room? room? Five, four, three. Two, one! It definitely felt good to have everything that we needed. We had everything but water! With shopping done, our teams have to load up and hit the road to get to their cell day one location. They still have to prep for their two hour lunch service ahead. How can you freaking forget the water, Nikki? We'll work it out. We have plenty of lemonade to sell. The little one's gonna drive the big truck. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous to drive this big, huge truck. Oh, well, slow down, Nikki. You gotta stay distance, remember? Nikki, slow down. Stop, 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 stop. I got this. Chill and relax. Look, she drives it like it's a mini circus car or something. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Ah! I can't sit this way. <laughs> <laughs> <Nikki, Nikki. laughs> On the road, Venice Beach, here we come. Driven every kind of truck there is, no problem with this one. I really think we should listen to the judges. You know, sea ration salmon sandwich is kind of hard to say. I think I, I got to be firm. I really think those names are ones we need to stick with. Whatever. I kept telling my dad to change the name of that salmon sandwich, whatever you wanted to call it. He didn't listen. I don't think so. Eat my dad. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The light turned red, so I was stuck. Catch the light. Uh -oh. He got the light. He got it. And they're already gone. Get us through this thing, man. All right, make Guide us through it. Make her right on Edgewood. Get us on the main streets. Get us on a freeway. Get us to that cell location. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, at Venice Beach. We're here. Yeah. The head start. Woo. Let's do it. We 
pulled up. First. First. We opened the doors. We're at Venice Beach. It's beautiful. Very amazing. We're just getting prepped so we can get ready to dish out this food to the customers. We made it. The girls are here. This isn't how I wanted to start this thing. You, uh, you know what? Let's just, we'll make up for it. Come on. Mess uh, all canteen, loaded potato and frites. Come on out. Welcome to your first sell day. Now remember, the team that earns the most money over the next two days wins their very own food truck. Yeah! yeah let's do it. Not gonna reveal your earnings until both sell days are over. Sound good? Sounds yeah. good. Great. Yeah. Today, you've got two hours to sell as much food and make as much money as you possibly can. But today, it's not just about the money, it's also about the judges. Oh yeah, they're gonna be here. And they're gonna be tasting your food, assessing your presentation and customer service. Three key ingredients that you've gotta nail if you're gonna have a successful food truck business. Now, based on our judges' evaluations, one team's going to be receiving a special advantage for tomorrow's final sell day. You guys ready? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, right, we'll get back on your trucks, finish up prep in a half hour. You guys are open Let's for go. business, here we go. Woo. All right. Since we didn't have any bottled water, we ended up using tap water that we put lots and lots of lemons, lemons in, in to make it taste much better. Yes. Today we'll be serving steak and blue cheese loaded potatoes and also steak and blue cheese frites. We will also be serving our shrimp alfredo loaded potato. We'll be providing a side dish, Mediterranean frites. Woo, that's a hot potato! Today we're serving SOS grilled cheese, and in that is salami, gravy, fried potatoes, and Munster cheese on Texas toast. We changed the dry beef because one of the judges felt it was uh, salty. We chose the salami because we still wanted to keep that salty flavor, but we didn't want it overpowering. And then we're also serving today the sea ration salmon sandwich with uh, grilled salmon, pesto, arugula, uh, olive topping on feta cheese. The judges said that our salmon was too chunky, so we decided to go with the six ounce filet of salmon. You know, we each have our own responsibilities. You know, he's in charge of his things, I'm in charge of my things. We're gonna take these onions and we're going to dip them in our special sweet batter, put them in the deep fry over here, serve them up with some red wine barbecue sauce. It's not cooking them fast enough. Very worried. That might be a problem for us. It was my idea <laughs> to bring the microwave to cook the potatoes quicker, but I didn't look at the wattage. The problem is the microwave doesn't have enough watts, so it's a very slow cooker. Teams, lots of hungry customers out here. Your two-hour lunch service starts now! Ah! Woo! Let's go, 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 go. Hey, people are coming, let's go. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Good. SOS, that's it. That first order going out the window, something I'll remember forever. It's really delicious. Yeah, it's a little salty, a little greasy, but I would definitely get it again. Yummy. Uh, you know which one's in order. You got two more behind you, two more SOS. It's, it's really good. I've never had potato in a sandwich before. Oh, that's true. It's yeah. amazing. Onion rings and eldest water. I was really excited because I love onion rings, but they're different. The breading is different. Kind of doughy. It's still pretty good. When I made the onion ring batter, I didn't make it loose enough, so the, the onion ring actually came out looking like a donut. The gravy's just getting a little loose, so we're going to have to keep thickening it up. I accidentally spilled too much cream into the SOS, and it made it really runny. Just the excess runningness of the gravy just kind of made everything fall apart. This is so messy. What am I supposed to do with this sandwich? Is it a sandwich? I mean, it's like falling to pieces on me. Oh, it's kind of fun to eat, but I don't know. I'm pissed, you know, my dad, uh, <laughs> he messed up two of the dishes today, the SOS and the onion rings, you know, shouldn't have let him cook. Hello, hello, everyone. How um, may I help you? I'll try the shrimp alfredo potato. It's tasty. It's, yeah. it's really good. I would have never thought to put shrimp and alfredo on a potato, so I think it's a good idea. Oh, we pressing on, the guys. All those bikes come here. Come, come on, get your out here. Potato. Bye. Oh my God, look at all those bikes, man. Here we go. We're gonna get slammed. You got it, ready? When I seen all those bikes roll up, I'm like, man, I gotta get these customers. A lot of people here, it's getting a little stressed out. We just need to keep going. Before I order, can I ask what the sea rations means and the sea ration salmon? What is a sea ration? What is it, sea ration? Yeah. It's a salmon sandwich. What's that ration? Every customer was asking about the sea ration sandwich, salmon whatever you wanted to call it. I'm just gonna get the onion rings. I've had sea rations. That was enough for me. Yes, I got it. I understand that name is 
out of here. Yeah, I wonder how the girls are doing next door, man, because I tell you, with a line like this, it's got to be crazy. Oh, it's taking a real long time. <laughs> they keep saying three minutes, and then 10 minutes passes. So I ordered some fries, like 45 minutes We're seeing, like, 10 people sorry. pass us. So. We're putting, dropping some fries right now. Just give us a few more minutes. OK. OK, I think we don't have any more potatoes. 86 to potatoes. It was taking us, what, a half an hour Ooh. to make two potatoes. It was yeah. horrible. It was bad. It was scary. Yeah, and we were starting to crash and burn there. It was delicious. It's it's really good, but 45 minutes was far too long. She's making more fries, okay? So it's gonna be a couple minutes. Oh you can't give me a potato? We're out of we're out. We just I just get I just gave you guys the last ones. We're out of baked potatoes. This is not good. Well it's long since I ever waited for a potato other than baking it myself. Otherwise, the taste is very good. Yeah, every I'm time you call me, runs off. All right, so where is it at? It's right here. Yeah. You, we, it wasn't ready. It, it was, was for somebody else, but someone else was waiting like you, uh, Mommy. I want my money back. I want to go to the other track. Two teams have rolled into Venice Beach to kickstart their food truck dreams. Whichever team earns the most money over two days of selling will win the keys to their very own food truck. First day of selling is underway. And while one team serves up a sloppy sandwich, this is so messy. The other is in the weeds. Uh, I want my money back. I want to go to the other truck. We're midway through the lunch service, and the judges have arrived to assess the teams. They'll taste their food, assess presentation, and judge customer service to determine who will win a special advantage for tomorrow's sell day. How's it going, going huh? Doing good, man. Good to see you. I hear a lot of people are asking, what does the C ration say? I can't even say it myself yeah, right it's, now. Yeah, it's pretty confusing. OK. Yeah. You're so stuck on that name, aren't you? Know, you? we'll definitely go back home, retool it a little bit, come back stronger. Well, how long did you guys wait for this one? 45 minutes. Seriously? Yeah. Ladies? Ladies, yes. ladies, That's I good. see people waiting for food. Well, they're going to wait, so. They're going to wait? Yeah. That's what we're going to tell them, huh? No, they're going to wait as long as it takes to cook. Excuse me. Right. I'm just trying to cook. Why are you picking on me? Hey, hey I'm, not, I'm not picking on anybody. I'm just getting out, I'm getting out of the truck. I'm just trying to cook. What do you want? All right. I was being customer service like. You were being a little feisty. Whatever. Mess all canteen, loaded potato and frites. Your time is up. <laughs> It's now time for our judges to evaluate the teams. All right, so here we have Mediterranean frites. I think the feta works. The feta does add a tang. Yeah. You're making it brighter, fresher, and then you're letting it step up a touch. All right, here we have loaded steak and blue cheese frites. I, I got to say, they really delivered here. I think this is where they're going to win. Problem is, they can't get this thing out. Did you see how many people people waiting on this? 45 minutes on a food truck, that's, you're, you're done. So we have our shrimp Alfredo loaded potato. That is a big dish right there. Yeah. Really good Alfredo sauce, though. It's creamy, it's seasoned well. You, you know, get that nice sharpness from the cheese. So what'd you guys think of uh, Mess Hall Canteen's SOS? Well, I, I think that it's their bread and butter. And by the way, that's the biggest problem with it. It's a ton of bread and butter. The presentation puts the mess in Mess Hall Canteen. Right. The salami is just adding too much fat. You took away the salt, you replaced it with fat. All right, we have the sea, we have the sea rash, Sally seashell salmon <laughs> sandwich with sea ration. I think I heard pretty much everybody in line going, what's a ration? OK, but it's still a salmon sandwich on the beach with a lot of flavor. All right, so we've got some um, onion rings. This is awful. The batter is so thick yeah. on it. It's a bad onion donut. I'm going to give you a letter here. You know what letter this is? What letter is that? That looks like, like an F. Yeah, F for fail. <laughs> Mess all canteen, loaded potato and frites. Come on out, guys. You've handed in your cash boxes. You're going to have to wait till after tomorrow's sell day to see how much money you made. In the meantime, our judges can tell you what they thought about your food, your presentation, and your customer service. The winner of today's challenge will receive a giant stack of flyers to really help market your food truck. Think of all the extra customers you guys could get with those flyers. Sound good? Yes. yes. All right, well, it's now time to hear from our judges. State, how do our teams do with respect to customer service? Well, Mess Hall Canteen, they got great precision, almost military-esque in terms of getting the food out. Loaded potato and frites, what can I say? You got people waiting for 45 minutes for potatoes. And Passion's passion seems to be to harass her customers. It's a clear win for Mess Hall Canteen on service. All right, Alpina, talk to us about flavor and taste. How did our two teams do here today? 
All right, well, loaded potato and frites. Those frites were saucy and sensational. Mess hall canteen, the SOS, unfortunately, you somehow made it even richer and it just didn't work for us. The onion rings tasted more like a donut crossed with an onion ring. Just really did not deliver there. So the point for flavor goes to loaded potato and frites. All right, Andrew, your presentation. How did our teams present their dishes today? Mess Hall Canteen, in terms of the names of the dishes, SOS and the C ration, that's difficult for the presentation of the cell. Loaded potatoes and frites, your food was coming out of the window, colorful, it was melting. So the point for presentation goes to loaded potatoes and frites. Yeah. <laughs> All right, loaded potato and frites. You're going to get a giant stack of flyers to help market your food truck at tomorrow's final sell day, and you're going to need it. It was hard enough with you guys squaring off against each other here today, but tomorrow it is going to get a lot tougher. You're going to be facing off against other food trucks that have got way more experience than you guys do. So you're off to Studio City. This is where you're going to find a lot of LA's best food trucks. Now, competing with the other food trucks, that's not your biggest challenge tomorrow. Your big challenge is coming up with an entirely new dish. It really wasn't a lot of pressure on me, because I already know what we wanted. A lot more, more scarier and a lot more pressure. You've got less than 24 hours now to your final sell period. So pack up, we'll see you guys tomorrow. They can get those flyers out there, because they're going to need it. Loaded potato is not running out of potatoes tomorrow. Or freaks. <laughs> We're definitely changing the names. We're going to win this competition. How? How? Our teams have restocked, picked up ingredients for their new dishes, and are on the move to their second cell location, Studio City. Let's do this, son. Come on, girl. We got to go. We got to beat them there. While those girls are out handing out their little flyers, we're going to be prepping. Those flyers are going to bring us more people. And customer, customer service. service. Be a little nicer, Passion. <laughs> Our solution to our weak microwave. We ended up purchasing a new high powered, high powered microwave. Oh, um, I think I see it on the floor. The microwave? It fell all the way down from the. We got a little intimidating when we start hearing things crashing, crashing. all over. Don't oh know what gosh. it is back there. We made our mistakes yesterday. I learned from it. We got this today. I realized one thing. Jake's in charge of the food. I'm in charge of the business end of it. Oh, uh, looks like we beat a uh, loaded potato, though. You no, know, we can squeeze in right here. Hey, watch the back. Watch the back. Turn out again. I tried to squeeze this in there, and boy, was it tight. Let's do this. Come on. I was a little worried about the other trucks, but I really wasn't too intimidated by them. I know what I'm doing. OK, um, you're a little sticky. You're going to knock a mirror off. It'll be fine. It's just a mirror. I can't watch. Slow down, because it's right here. The second day, we got their second. Go find your own spot. We got here first. We got flyers. We don't have to worry about a spot. Game's changing today, girls. Game's changing today. Now I'm parking that truck there on day <laughs> two. It's not an easy job. Watch your mirror. Watch your mirror. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. Right. You know, the sea rations, salmon, sandwich, whatever it was, that was absolutely gone. See you, sea rations. So we went with the salmon grilled cheese. You see that, you know exactly what you're getting. Today's daily special, we're serving a filet mignon grilled cheese with uh, blue cheese, bacon crumbles, uh, portobello mushroom, charred thrown in aioli, and that's $12. Lo and behold, we looked to see what shattered on the floor because we heard this big bang, right. and it was our brand new microwave that we just purchased the day before. Oh, <laughs> it had a big dent in it. It was really bad. This is not working. No high five. It's not working. All right, all right. After we checked the microwave, it was dented and all bashed up. Not good. Wrist work in both eyes. It worked. Lights came on. <laughs> Even with the big dent on the side. That would have been the end of us. us. <laughs> this definitely works. That was like a, it's burning them. 
It was a miracle that Actually, it was that it, that it didn't break. <laughs> Our new dish is Texas chili cheese frites. Chili cheese with some frites and topped off with a little onion and sour cream, and it's amazing. We grew up eating chili. Our roots are from Texas, Texas. so we definitely know our way around the chili. Ah, oh, we got a bag. A, a surprise? Oh, yes, we have our flyers. Oh, nice. Those are awesome. Those are too cute. Lettuce potato and peach for the truck. A double stuffed potato that eats like a man. Excuse me. Hey, lettuce, potato, and fruits, girl. Come on, right here. Wanted to try to get those flyers out there to get all those customers. She's our little to... potato cheerleader yeah. out there. Hey, come on down to Loaded Potato and Freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Check out this. They need all the help yeah, they can this, get. This is so stupid. Your two hour lunch service starts now. Oh, Woo! That's it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, all right, OK. Oh, my gosh. I can't oh believe God. the horn just went up. We're not even there. Oh my gosh, and we're not all the way ready. Why aren't people coming to our truck yet? This is killing us. I never met a potato I didn't like. I <laughs> neither have I. All right. <laughs> our flyers, they really did help. They did help a lot. I ordered the Texas chili cheese fruits from Loaded Potato, and I think they're really good. I like how the chili tastes. Come on down here. We got good food on the menu. OK, we got them coming, son. We got them coming. What can I do for you? Filet mignon grilled cheese. Absolutely. The filet mignon is so juicy, and it melts in my mouth, and it's so good. The daily specials are our number one seller right now. You guys like the food from Mess Hall Canteen? Absolutely. So good. Awesome. Yeah. Tell them to go in front of loaded potato and show off our stuff. The best advantage you can have over any flyer is word of mouth. OK. And you got the scent, too? Hold on, Nikki. Stop frying. These numbers aren't right. The, the last one goes here. here. Okay. It goes like this. Okay. He got his number eight. Did he? Are you sure? You're killing me, Nikki. Because you're killing me. It's okay, uh, but the only problem I had was waiting for half an hour for just chili cheese fries, really. If they didn't have the gimmicks of like, oh, flyers and this and that, I wouldn't have chosen uh, loaded potato and feeds, and I would have definitely gone with mescal canteen. We're halfway through today's lunch rush, and while this face off is all about the sales, the judges have come to find out if the teams have improved over yesterday. Hey! hey can I get you to try one of our onion rings today? Sure, I'd love to. We uh, lightened up the batter a bit and tried to make it so it's not as thick like a donut. Oh, it's much better. Good Th job on that. Thank you so much. Much better. Pasha and Nikki, what up? Hi, Stay. Pasha, what's the problem today? No problem, no problem. What happened with those tickets? I didn't I didn't put the tickets up, so talk to her about it. Oh, so you're blaming her? Yeah. OK. You're I'm blaming sorry. her? I am blaming her, because she put the ticket up there and put it in the wrong order, so it's her fault. I'm just making the food. You're Pick throwing it under the bus. I'm not throwing it on the bus. You did I it. did it. It's OK. Well, we that's got a team control. player, girl. We are, but I can't do the tickets and do that. I can't do well. everything. Nikki, put the tickets in the right order so I can stop getting yelled at like I it's my fault. I put them in the order now. Sh all right, so we've got the uh, Mediterranean frites. Look, they're still colorful, present well. Look, the food may be tasty. I don't think I have any problem with the flavors. But the fact is, that was a volatile truck. And I don't know who was at fault, but at the end of the day, you guys talk about partnerships. Didn't look like that to me. Yeah, I mean, clear breakdown in the partnership, but people waited. Look, the steak and blue cheese loaded frites is still a winning combination. See, I, you know what? I might wait for that. I can say, the girls can cook. Did you try their special today? This is the chili cheese frites. This is so flavorful. I mean, you taste like wow. the taco seasoning. That is, I would eat that. I, I would wait for that. To me, the filet grilled cheese is a home run item to add to well, the menu. Not only that, copying one of the lead items from your competitor, that's tactical. Well, yesterday, I saw a greasy, butter-laden grilled cheese. Today, they're making an effort to present it because they fixed their sauce that went on the sandwich to make it less runny and right. sloppy. But, you know, I'm tasting this now for the third time, and three times a charm. It's like they finally nailed it. This is a good sandwich right here. And look. Hey, I can say this one now. It's a salmon grilled cheese. Loaded potato and frites, mess all canteen. Your time is up. Lunch service is now over. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Mess all canteen's closed for today. I am exhausted. That was a lot of work. It went great. We feel good. If we don't win this thing, it's almost like it's crushing our dreams. It means a lot to me because I see her struggle a lot as a single mom. I think this would be, make a better life for her and the kids. I know he's put a lot in trust in me to go into business with him. I really don't want to fail my dad. I will get this truck for my four kids.
The second and final day of selling is over. Time now to reveal a winner. The opportunity to win the trucks here, I hope we did enough to get it. Hopefully we pull this off. We're tired, excited, everything. I don't know. We're just a ball of nerves. Yeah. I think we got this. I think we got this. Mess Hall Canteen. Loaded potato and frites. You've survived two frenetic days of selling food on the streets of Los Angeles. But only one of you is going to get the keys to your very own food truck. Before we reveal the winner, let's first hear from our judges. Nikki and Passion, wow. Day one was a disaster. 40 minute ticket times and for a potato? Uh, I want my money back. I want to go to the other truck. But you did win on taste that day. And by day two, you nailed it on your steak and blue cheese potato. Don and Jake, you're always organized. But on day one, what bothered me is taste and flavors. This is awful. And then on day two, you let Jake take over, run the ship in terms of getting the taste where it needed to be. And that filet mignon sandwich, that was a killer. Great stuff. The teams, at the end of the day, this competition is about who made the most money over the last two days. Mess Hall Canteen, on day one, your total was $312. Loaded potato and frites, on day one, your total was $365. Mess Hall Canteen, after two days of selling, your final total was $832. Loaded potato and frites. After two days of selling, your final total was $759.50. That means Mess Hall Canteen, Don and Jake, you have won the keys to your very own customized food truck. God, did it, buddy? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you did a great job. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. Nikki and Passion, you girls can cook. I mean, tasty food, commitment, you have the key ingredients for success. Thanks. Nikki, believe it or not, with passion by your side, you guys are going to be a force to be reckoned with. Good luck. Guys, nice. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we know what it entails and how much hard work it is. So we're definitely going to be prepared when we do get our truck. It's loaded potato and freaks are still coming. Oh, thank They're you awesome. so much. Very well done. Yeah, well really appreciate well. it. Yeah! Thank you. I can't wait to pull up and show the family what we did, what we have, and it's the starting point for a lot of things we want to do. That's it. Retirement's over. Time to go back to work. Yeah. Here's the keys to yeah. your food truck. Get on out of here. Hit the go. road. Right. Congratulations, go. guys. Woo! 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 Yeah! 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 We did it. We've right. talked about this for so long. We've dreamed about this for so long. And Jake's the one that really put this thing together. Give me five, give me five. Woo! Yes, yeah! yeah we did it! Oh, we're definitely gonna have a big family party to celebrate for sure. We're coming for you, OC. <laughs>